Hi everyone, in this program you're going to find the HCF or GCD of two numbers. So you're going to write a program that is going to take two numbers from the user and return the highest common factor or the greatest common divisor of the two numbers. In case you're not sure what these are, for example, we have a number, we have a number 12 and a number 14. What is the highest number or the biggest number that can perfectly divide 12 and 14? It is 2. Now let's say you might say 3, uh, three right? 3 perfectly divides 12, but it does not perfectly divide 14. 6 perfectly divides 12, but it does not perfectly divide 14. 7 perfectly divides 14, but it does not perfectly divide 12. So you need to get the highest number that perfectly divides 12 and 14. It means that whenever you grab that number and divide it by the number that you have, the grade by the HCF, your, it is going to be perfectly divisible. So 1 is also an HCF, but it is not the highest number. So the highest number is actually called the HCF, or the highest common factor, or the greatest common divisor. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after 3 seconds. All right, how was the program? I'm sure you did great. So we are going to grab two numbers from the user. We're going to say number one and input. So input, what am I doing here? And I'm going to say enter uh, first number, first number. And we are going to tell the user to enter a second number as well. So second number and we are going to call it number two. Now uh, we need to check that neither of these numbers is zero. So I'm going to say if number one is less than or equal to zero or number two is less than or equal, equal to zero, then we, we are going to tell the, the, uh, the user entered entered numbers cannot be zero or less then we are gonna go to the magical place now I'm gonna create a function and I'm gonna say calculate uh, GCD or I could say H HCF whatever you want to call it you can call it so calculate HCF and I'm gonna pass in number one I'm going to pass in two parameters here, number one and number two. First off, we need to choose the smallest number. So we are going to say if number one is greater than number two, then smallest is going to be number two. So if number, um, number one is smaller than uh, number two is going to be the smallest and else we are going to say that smaller or small less is going to be number one so if number one is greater than number two we say that number two is smallest and then in any other case we know that number one is the smallest then we are going to iterate over what whichever is the smallest so we're going to say for x in range we're going to start from 1 and then we are going to go to the smallest plus 1 so we do include the smallest and now we are going to say if uh, number 1 divided by or modulo x equals 0 it means that it is perfectly divisible and number 2 modulo um, come on modulo x is equal to zero if these two conditions are true I mean even if one of them is not true then this if statement is not going to run then we are going to create the HCF number H I'm gonna say HCF underscore number is going to be equal to the X value and eventually we want to return the HCF number now I'm going to run this code 
so now you can see that I'm still within the block of this function so I'm just gonna get out of there and I'm gonna say print the HCF is calculate HCF let's pass in now it does require two arguments for these two parameters and I'm gonna say number one and number two so I'm gonna say number one and number two perfect so let's save that let's run this code I'm gonna pass in to uh, let's run the code let's wait for it so I'm gonna pass in the first number is 12 the second number 14 and there you go we got two now let's think about another number let's think about a number nine and six what is the highest number that perfectly divides nine and six and that is three nine divided by three we get three six divided by three we get two so they are perfectly divisible by three so if i pass in nine and six we should get three there we go we got three what about 12 and 6 we that should be um two as well so let's run that so i'm going to say 12 and 6 it is it's of course six as well we can include the number itself as well so i'm going to say the reason that this includes six is because we have set plus one here we could also take a look at uh 15 and 5 we should get three for both of them so I'm going to say 15 and 5 we get oh five oh because we're talking about the highest the highest is 5 the highest is not 3 and uh, 5 is not divisible by 3 what am I even saying here but if I say let's say 90 and uh, 60 do we get 30 yeah we got 30 I'm going to do one more and I'm going to say 64 and I'm gonna say 16 what is the highest number it should be 16 itself there you go it is 16 itself so that's it for this mini program see you in the next one